So I've saved my tabular data in this CSV file, but it looks like it's pretty badly formatted. And I think that's because all of my text, which I've extracted, is surrounded by a new line above and below. So I got the start of the text there, new line, end of the text at the end of this line, and then another new line. So it's a bit funny. So what I want to do is just clean that up a little bit. So if I print my data as well, you can see it's got this slash n and that backslash n, that's a new line. So what I want to do is just remove that. So where do I get my image? Where do I get my text data from? Well, it's in here, isn't it? So it's over there. Now this is getting a bit chunky, so I probably want to break that up into, into different functions. I'm going to put all of this inside a method called download image from tag. It's going to take in the image tag. And then I'm going to take this and start off a new method, which is about cleaning the data. So as well as getting the text attribute from all of those parts of the tag, which I've got there, what I'm going to do now is take each of that text and do dot replace the backslash n. Replace that with an empty string and do that for text in data. Uh, so it's not again an issue, which is I haven't uh, um, I haven't returned anything from this function, so let's do that. All right, and now everything is looking much better. So another obvious thing is that this price it should not be a text that's a string right now. So what I want to do is split that up. So I've got my text data here and the price, and I'm gonna have another method called format price. It's going to take in a price as a text. And then what it's going to do is it's going to remove the first character, which is always a dollar sign, it looks like in my case. And then it's going to cast that into a integer. No, it's going to cast it into a float. And then it's going to return that. I could have done that all on one line. And I should probably have run that whilst I did it instead of trying to do it all in one, but let's hope that works. And I haven't called this function, so I should probably do that. Now if I run that, it can't cast that to a float. Looks like it's got a comma in, that's why. So let's just remove that by doing dot replace. I'll replace all of the commas with nothing. And there you go. Now I think we're in a pretty good place.